Hey, what's up guys, it's Chris Luck, and today we're in beautiful Kodiak. It's uh, kind of overcast right now, but no wind, so anytime there's no wind, it's pretty here. But I got the Avada, and I'm going to show you some of my favorite ways to get the best footage and how to stabilize it without using anything on the drone. So a lot of people say, what's better, Rocksteady or Rocksteady level? And I'm gonna show you when you turn off EIS, electronic image stabilization, you can use a program called Gyroflow and really stabilize this footage. Now, first thing I'm gonna say for the videos itself, I have an ND16 on here, because it's pretty daylight now, so I should be able to get good settings with an ND16 without having to use anything on auto. If you have to use auto ISO, auto shutter speed, you're gonna really mess up your shadows and highlights in your footage, and it's just not gonna look smooth. It's better to just have one setting throughout the whole time while you're flying. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is come down to settings, and we're gonna go to camera. Here are my settings for today. 4K 60 wide, EIS off. There's no need for the auto ISO limit. Uh, grid line's off, but center point is on. We're gonna go to advanced camera settings, and we're gonna go to color, turn on decent alike. Now normal actually looks good if you're not a professional video editor. Normal is not too bad, but I will just choose decent alike and leave noise reduction at zero. Without further ado, let's get this thing up in the air. See what we can capture here at this beautiful beach. Anytime I don't crash this drone, it is a mission success. And that's a couple times in a row now. So maybe I've been getting a little better here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you home to my office, shut the door a little bit, turn on Gyroflow and show you the magic on smooth footage. And I think it comes out way better and you have more control over the electronic image stabilization known as Horizon Steady 
and uh, whatever the other one is. Hey guys, welcome to my office here and I'm gonna show you Gyroflow. Gyroflow is a great image stabilization software and it natively supports the DJI Avada. So turn off EIS again. So you can go ahead, download this program. Link is in the description. It supports Windows, Mac, and Linux. Once you have the program open, this is what it's going to look like. Okay, I'm just gonna go to where my footage is located. And for me, that will be right here. And if you notice that the DJI Avada splits your video recordings, and this program can also combine in one. So I'm gonna highlight both of them drag them onto the program and then it says you've opened multiple files what do you want to do merge them to one video and once it's done it takes a second to load and you're good to go basically all of your info on your drone is on the left side and the dji avada is built in so you don't have to worry about doing anything on the left side on the right side is where you can change your field of view you can change your smoothness i'm going to do i like to keep it the default one and smoothness um i was pretty happy around 0.35 that seems to be a pretty good smoothness that i like if you want to lock the horizon so if you want to do horizon steady you could do that with clicking this button here and i'm not going to use it i don't care for it dynamic zooming is basically how it stabilizes the footage around corners and stuff so i just do like a the four second default i believe four seconds is default and that way when it needs to really stabilize things it slowly zooms in to a point where it's hard to notice it but it helps make your footage a little bit more stable so i do four seconds and then i have rolling shutter um enabled but i don't think it does anything lens correction is something i like to mess around with sometimes if you have it at zero, it's going to be super warped here. You can see the horizon is pretty warped, but I like to keep it around 100. Sometimes I'll do like 66. And then down here is your export settings. I'm just going to choose 100 megabytes a second. And that's pretty much all you have to do. You can go ahead and preview this. So the first one, I'm going to disable it. So you, this is what it looks like without image stabilization. Not too bad, you can see the horizon's pretty warped. It's overall not terrible. Okay, let's play that again with image stabilization on. You can see the mountains kind of went back to where they're supposed to be. Now the lens is corrected. That's a big feature on this as well. And here we go. Notice the horizon is pretty flat and straight still. That is a big thing. Footage is buttery smooth. And then to export, all you're going to do is press export here. It's going to place the footage right into the folder where you had your original Avada footage. Once that's done, it takes a few minutes depending on how fast your computer is. This one's going to take about 10 minutes, it says, but it is totally worth it. I highly recommend that you use this program over the DJI default image stabilization known as Rocksteady and Rocksteady Level Horizon. Alrighty guys, well thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that helped you out. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you get better, smoother footage now with your DJI Avada. If you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel as it helps me out, like the video, and watch this one, seven tips for better DJI Avada footage. It's mainly focused on the motion controller. However, it applies to anything in the DJI Avada world. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.